We have got ourselves a Halo Wars 2 3 vs 3 match where I am going against two Serenas which are yellow and orange, a Johnson who is red, we have ourselves an Atriox on the left hand side as dark blue and a Decimus on the right hand side as light blue and I am playing as Forge. So I'm here to start working on getting the resources around the map and we're going to let our teammate actually get the mini base here. That way I can go ahead and focus on getting a hero out as soon as possible and then I'll be able to be more assertive in the map because Forge Hero is pretty strong in the early game especially if they try to go snipers or just infantry play as a whole. Will there be jackrabbits involved? We'll go ahead and see. Sometimes you can mix it up with some infantry, other times you can mix it up with jackrabbits. It all just depends on what your build order really is after the hero ends up coming out. So for now we're going to focus on working on the node over here and because of that we're going to have the opportunity to give our teammates some lovely power. All power is good power. And now we have enough resources to get our second gen which is nice and it turns out we actually accidentally made the sentinels attack the supply depot coming in from the mini base. And I almost cost my teammate 150 supply because of that. And fortunately, there's higher priority for infantry over building for the Sentinel. And because of that, I'm at least going to be able to distract the Sentinel while I go ahead and capture this node to return the favor of giving them power because I almost ruined their whole build order because of that. So second gen is being made, which is nice. We are floating a little bit more supplies than what we would like. So we'll see if we're going to end up going with some infantry or some jackrabbits down the line. And Hero's going to be coming out soon, at least in regards to building it. That left node has been captured and now we can go ahead and send a marine into the expansion base to grab those supplies. As well as the thought about getting a second base, right? We are floating a little bit of supply, so maybe that's what we're going to go ahead and try and do. And if we're going to be able to, that's going to be pretty nice to get ahead on the expansion game because pushing the middle is kind of the hardest to do, honestly. But it has happened before plenty of times, honestly. Heavy Metal is coming down as our second power point. Now we're going to see if we can go ahead and capture mid with what we've got. And it turns out Serena just captured it. And now she got her Ice Aurora showing up on that power node. Which is going to be very difficult to go ahead and traverse that situation. Unless we're going to be able to decap it. For now, we're just going to work around it. And then we're going to go ahead and get the supply that's still on the side. And wait for our hero to come out and see if we can go ahead and see what's in this mini base on this right hand side. If we can sneak this marine over to capture the power node that would be great because there are some mines set up on that power node. They're trying to be incredibly sneaky but I wear glasses and I have been able to see those mines that were hidden there. Even if it is a little bit hard to see with the ice aurora. But or just fully upgraded we can self-destruct the armory and now there's going to be some marines that are going to focus down on my marine and because of that we're going to at least decap it which is going to be nice great Y move by forge but now we got to find a way to go ahead and pressure this side they're trying to bait me with the mines but i'm not having any of it and now we got to go ahead and rotate a little bit just to make sure that yellow cannot capture this node because we don't really want the power node to go to serena because that's going to be a little bit difficult and now we have Atriox showing up as well in order to help clear out some of the mines and the infantry that are there which is nice to see. And because we're flowing so much supply it's worth getting another gen but Engineer is going to be taken out which is going to be very unfortunate and Serena Hero has shown up. Atriox is going to at least be able to push Orange back which is nice to see. I'm going back and forth here with their hero for Serena at the middle of the map trying to see if I can continue to put some damage but those mines and bunkers are going to be a little bit difficult in order for us to go ahead and really get a good push going. So for now we're going to focus on the economy and start shifting our army over to the left hand side to help out the Atriox. Because if we are able to get rid of that, that's going to be pretty much advantageous for us. We're able to get rid of Orange's infantry over here because there are quite a bit. And this is what I was talking about with the Forge Hog. It's doing a great job, especially with Atriox showing up on the high ground as well. Obi-Wan always says the high ground is the good ground to have. But now Orange also has a Frost Raven set up. 
and this may become a little bit problematic especially if more show up and I don't have much units to go ahead and deal with it but for now we're doing just a good job continuing the pressure and our forge hog is getting frozen very slowly trying to pull away and it was just able to pull away starting to frost a bit but then it got hit again by the frost raven and just barely got away as well and now we have atriox to try and help reinforce this push but there's just so many snipers by orange it really makes it a little bit difficult for us to be able to do anything but they're kind of over committing their snipers here to try to go after the atriox which was very unfortunate and now we're going to tech three and making a fourth gen just because our macro has been very poor so far this game but we have gotten rid of a lot of snipers by orange that's going to keep them in tech one for a little bit a second base is being established though by orange so hopefully we can go ahead and pressure it it does take three shots to get rid of a sniper until i get defense aurora and because of that the sniper is going to take a little bit longer to take out but we've probably taken out around seven or eight snipers already which is very impressive impressive nevertheless now that we have our double garage set up we can start making our warhogs finally upgrade that base and upgrade the rest of our economy and look at this another sniper being taken care of definitely they had a mini base in the back with the barracks and they definitely forgot to go ahead and change their rally point the marine is focused on the frost raven instead of capturing but i think with what we have we're producing more warhogs which is nice but now yellow hero serena has shown up and red with johnson and their mantis have shown up as well we have to go ahead and go for a full scale retreat the snipers are getting their revenge my mantis their mantis is focused down on my forge hog and i'm not able to go ahead and retreat unfortunately and because of this i'm kind of at a disadvantage situation here we're going to go ahead and get upgrades for vehicles but yellow's coming in with the flank vortex lightning did look like it was going to be all right thought about putting down a heal but decided not to and the shield gen's going to be nice at least cleansing beams coming down on the mantis and the mantis are getting incredibly weak which is also nice to see but it does look like they're going to end up surviving just a little bit right now as we focus down on the infantry that's around the map in the back but this is not really looking too good we're kind of losing the numbers in this situation can we continue to keep this pressure going in order to at least get rid of the units they're pressuring pretty well and we want to be able to get push that pressure back with our own but right now we're focusing down on the infantry that's here suicide grunts are coming out but unfortunately not much is being done but we have some reinforcements coming in finally by our decimus air halo wars is being halo wars with that little stutter and network connection there but everything has turned back to normal and the base is still being pressured we're still bringing in and making a lot of units still getting vehicle upgrades as well but this is a little bit problematic a cryo is coming down with a seismic toss which hurts and gets rid of a lot of the banshees honestly we do have heavy metal to go ahead and use on our three warhogs in order to push out and extend ourselves a little bit further but still we're losing a lot of units over here and the base is still looking very healthy though and that's the plus side the double raid camp is helping we do have ourselves kodiak siege but we just need a little bit more supply in order for us to go ahead and drop that in and there we go we just got our kodiak drop we're going to go ahead and use that our forge is forge hogs our warhogs are getting damaged in the back and now our forge hog is ready to go and help reinforce but they have a lot of units over here that's a lot of mantis yes we have goss hogs but this is a little bit of a problem here and serena is focusing down mantis is focusing down everyone's kind of focusing this down as a whole and we're losing some of our warhogs but they can't really push us in the back because of the fact that we have Kodiak Siege and my reinforcements have finally arrived. Cryo is going to come down and it does look like they end up whiffing and not hitting the engineers for whatever reason. And because of that, the damage reduction and the heal on the base is helping us a lot because we are getting some good splash damage from the Kodiaks. And we're having a very good opportunity here to just continue to clear out units. The cleansing beam is going to come down, get rid of the hero, get rid of a bunch of mantises. And this battle is still going on right now. Aatrox got the high ground. It does look like we're getting a little bit more momentum. Gosshogs are now officially out. And now we can start pushing back some of this army here. They have plenty of bunkers here. Their hero is still on the right hand side. And they're going to try and take advantage of that. Because Desi is trying to send. Our Desi is trying to send as much reinforcements as possible. But 
right now there's just more that we can deal with but with what i have over here my army's getting larger and larger and stronger and stronger because of the upgrades and we're just continuously clearing out some units and now they are pulling the retreat symbol to go ahead and start falling back but i want to go ahead and at least get rid of the hero that's on their side of the map now and they just got taken care of and because of that we're going to see if we can get ourselves a push going we do have level two kodiaks which are going to be nice that means they've dealt a lot of unit damage and unit destruction and because our economy has been so awful we're going to go ahead and make a fifth gen because you know what why not when you have the supply for it because you're not spending it on army don't take that advice guys make sure you keep building an army that is important right now i'm getting away with it because i am making good micro decisions but my macro has been horrendous. Atriox is working on Orange's Serena Hero. Mines are coming down as well to try and push back our Forge Hog, which is going to work. But we still have plenty of units here to continue this pressure up. To see if we can get rid of Orange's base on this side. Orange doesn't look like they have much units in general, which is nice to see. But... We're still not getting exactly what we need yet. We got to keep this pressure going. It's looking very good. We got a second set of vehicle drop coming in, which is going to be very nice. And once that gets set up, I think this is going to help us get rid of the expansion base coming in from Orange. And Orange's Serena is in the back. We're going to try and bring in our Forge Hog with the Y move to try and knock it out. And there we go. We knocked it out before the shield came out. Atriox still working on the snipers just very nicely. And even though they're trying to make some Cyclops now, it is a little bit too late for that to happen. Our Goss Hogs are doing magnificent damage over here. Now we're finally going to start getting heals with our Nightingales. Our population increase is happening. And now we're focusing down on the main base, which is going to be nice. But a Cryo is going to come down with the Seismic Toss, but a Heavy Metal saved all the units over there. At least one Warhog was lost, but we definitely could have lost more there. But a second cryo is going to come down with another seismic toss and this one's going to hurt our army a lot more. So we're definitely taking a lot of damage but Orange is on their last leg which is nice to see. Orange used their drop with Serena to get some reinforcements but with what we've got we're going to be able to hold off. But now we got a situation in our hand. My main base is under attack and Red's hitting my Kodiaks that I had set up attacking Orange. So I have to make a couple turrets over here make some additional Wolverines and try and get my units over here to fall back to focus on the Kodiaks here. I mean, the Mantis working on my Kodiak. Can we get rid of them? Great Y move, just did some great damage overall. And they're in the debuff zone. And Yellow is focusing down on the turrets I was trying to make and the factories trying to make the Wolverines. It looks like we just finished clearing out all the Mantis. A level 2 Atriox is going to be such a huge problem for them. Yes, they have a turret drop. Kind of be a problem, but right now, my main base is looking good. Because of the fact that they were focusing down on my actual structures instead of focusing on Light Blue's army as a whole. And because of that, this is putting us in a very good situation on this side. So all we have to do now is focus on getting our garages back, right? We don't have what we need yet in regards to our production, but we do have enough to continue the pressure for Orange on this side. And there goes Johnson and a Scarab that's going to show up. That Scarab is going to go ahead and demolish this base. It's going to focus it down right away. And this is going to put Orange pretty much in a checkmate situation. So HR is going to go ahead and defend my last vet to Kodiak, which is nice to see. But... Here comes a couple mantises. There's no way they're going to be able to stop everything that's over here. A scarab with an eight, level 2 Atriox. That's going to be GG on that side. Orange does have no more units. Red is falling back but ends up resigning because they know they don't have a shot. And all that is left now is with one attack left on yellow if they choose to stay and play the game. Hope you enjoyed this video. That was actually a very spectacular held that you were able to witness there. And if you liked that hold that we ended up doing there, feel free to give a like or a subscribe or both. And let me know, do you think you would have been able to stop said push if that was happening? The trick is, is to have those engineers in the back of the base with the Y move with the damage reduction. But let's take a look at the stat screen. 
And as you can see, my macro is horrible because I was not really making units, but I went 21 for 92, which was really nice to see. Our teammate went 10 for 31. Our other teammate went 24 for 32. Shout out for BM Wag with 21,000 supply made. Definitely did a lot and they overwhelmed us with units 66 units built they did a great job just they kind of overcommitted, just focusing down in the base instead of killing units with that being said hope you have a splendid day morning evening or afternoon and keep being awesome and until the next commentary video